Hello everyone, uh, welcome to False Tolerant Tutorials. In this video tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to install BitTorrent in a Kali Linux, okay? So what I'm going to do first, I have already Kali Linux set up and it is running in my laptop instead of running a VM. Uh, so I'll just go, go there and uh, log in. And if you need any help how to set up remote desktop I have created another video which is already available in the same channel you can go and look it up okay once I open the remote desktop I will connect using my username and password plus okay to log into my Kali Linux desktop okay and in this setup I have connected I have two interfaces one is connector to my local network where I am connecting remote remotely to access the desktop and the other one which is connected to internet directly okay so now by default if you look at your Kali Linux installation by the way I'm using LXDE desktop here instead of genome because it is creating problem with uh, XRDP protocol and I'm not able to uh, use remote desktop when uh, this genome is in service okay instead of genome I'm using LXDE so I can it's the desktop environment will be a bit different but anyway it will be all same okay if, even if you are on your genome desktop everything will be same okay so what I was telling is you, you know by default Linux package does not include any torrent client so you know what is torrent if you're obviously if you are into open source and Linux all these things torrent client is used for mainly downloading huge files and it's a peer-to-peer -peer communication so you don't have to wait for the you know, uh, server to get give you the feed and to avoid bottlenecks and everything torrent is one of the best application you can you can um, transfer file from one, pl one place to other pl other place so basically uh, default installation package of Kali Linux don't have Kali Linux uh, sorry BitTorrent or torrent client available with them so what I'm going to do is directly open this uh, uh, LX terminal next terminal and first thing what you have to do is to update and upgrade so make sure you are in the root login if you are not in the root login you will have to use sudo password here sudo and then go up get upload up get update and up get upgrade update first it's gonna take a while depending upon your internet connection and the speed of it for so my internet connection is a bit sloppy because I'm using a shared internet connection next thing is okay now see if it is already updated you will come get a message like this reading packages list done so it's already updated it, this